Greetings, 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 and salutations, one and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the night shift. It's real dark night. And boy, do we have some real talking to do. Kicking it off tonight with the sound of Five Star Akil. Track called Feel Right. Zona 5 star Akil. Track is called Feel Right. Want to listen? Want for now? You more want for dinner, you know? I'm serious. <laughs> Visually say greetings and salutations to each and everyone locked in right now. Those on the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew on Tune In Radio. Much love to you. Those locked in on NIE Radio out of New Jersey. Big ups, big ups, big ups to you. Motivator, big up your status. Those locked in on the Foundation Radio Network, ClintonLindsay.com. It's a Lindsay. How you do? Big ups to those who are locked in on PEMGTV.com Of course, those who are locked in on the phone on the home of the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew KevinStew.com Where you're encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you, and you have my word. I wouldn't even try. Special thank you to Paul C Media Group. And being in a moment is priceless. Give them a call for innovative streaming and recording solutions. Check them out online, paulcmg.com. Tell them DJ Kevin Stew sent you. They can do everything you see right here on kevinstew.com and so much more. They have a church service, a funeral, a wedding, a seminar. You want to stream it live on a secure platform? They have a brand new number, 7549991140.
When you call them, you make sure you let them know, hey, DJ Kevin Stew send me now. This is what I have to do. How can you set me up? What can you do for me? What do I need? In the meantime, in between time. Tonight on a real talk. We're getting really real. And according to Dr. Chickle Davis, <laughs> there are about 20 ways that you can be more real. And you might be wondering, what? How, how can one be more real? Well, when you get into authenticity, then you've become real, right? And there are some school of, schools of thought that say we are authentic at birth. We grow out of authenticity. So in adulthood, it's not that we're going into authenticity, but we're recognizing that there's something that is not quite right and we are making changes to grow into that authentic person that we should be. So we have it in us, but we have to reconnect with it. That's what I mean? Um, numbers to call, numbers to text to get you in touch tonight. 773-789-STEW. That's 773-789-7839. You can call, text, WhatsApp, Telegram. Of course, the stew pot is available. And all you have to do is go to kevinstew.com and jump into the stew pot free of charge. You can remain anonymous. You can change your name. All up to you. Um, for those of you wondering what the stew pot is, you go to kevinstew.com. It is what others call a chat room. But over here, it's a stew pot. It's, it's because we're fancy over here on kevinstew.com. It's where we keep things interactive and bubbling. So come on over, jump on in. Let's get things interactive and bubbling. Yeah? Cool. So according to Dr. Chickle Davis and psychologytoday.com, being your authentic self can feel risky now in your in 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 our current on screen obsessed world we're just trying to fit in to be liked and be accepted by other human beings and as a result the images we present on our social media profiles and in real life have become mere presentations of who we think we should be and not reflections of who we really are. So, how then do we take off this mask that we've been wearing all this time and start to live a life of authenticity? And I know that can be hard for some people to do, really, because there are some that do it for the like and not for the well the likes and not for the love they don't they don't do it because they love themselves and 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 where they are in life and what they're doing and what they're about but they're doing it for the likes that they're getting on social media those little clicks those little thumbs up being authentic means that you act in ways that show your true self and how you feel Rather than showing people only a particular side of yourself, you express your whole self genuinely. And this means to succeed in being, a, that means to be a, succeed in, in, in being authentic, you first have to know who your true self actually is. For those of you who have spoken to me one on one, for those of you who have tuned in, to this broadcast over and over again, one of the things that you hear me talk about is getting to know self. And this is what Dr. Davis is talking about here. 
getting to know your true self. Because this requires self-awareness, mindfulness, and self-acceptance. Some people figure out who they are and don't like it. So they don't accept it. So they put on a persona. They put on uh, 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 that mask that we spoke about at the beginning. After spending the last year researching and writing a new book, Outsmart your smartphone, conscious tech habits for finding happiness, balance, and connection in real life. Dr. Chico says, Dr. Davis says, I'm, I'm, I'm now convinced that it's harder for us to be our true selves now in the technology age. We are constantly bombarded with media that tells us who to be, what to want, and how we should express ourselves. All of these influences should slow chip away at, at our ability to be our authentic selves. What is interesting with this is that with the advent of social media, I believe that I have been more able to show my true self. Strange, right? When everybody else is putting on masks and, and showing some type of, of fake persona, I am finding it easier to show myself, DJ Kevin Stu. By being someone you are not, you are telling yourself that who you really are is not okay. So hiding or suppressing who you really are can end up leaving you feeling lonely, disconnected, and, and, and lonely and disconnected from others, and even sometimes worthless. Now, there are some that say, hey, listen, I was born alone, I will die alone, and if it requires me going through this time and space that we currently live in alone, then that is what I'm going to do. You, you, you like me or you don't like me, but I like me. Now, those people, more often than not, will have some people that like them. And of course, some that blatantly don't. But more importantly, they like themselves. And them liking themselves is really, really, really important. Because the ones that put on this mask are the ones that don't really like themselves. So, which one would you more likely or would you prefer to get familiar with? The one that likes themselves or the ones that put on a mask and you don't know who they truly are. We're constantly balancing inner and outer aspects of our lives, of ourselves, in order to better fit in, to become more successful or even sometimes to find love. We are driven to find our place in society. And we want to be respected for who we truly are and what we have to contribute. Many of us are propelled even further, desiring to know and live our purpose, to find deeper meaning in our lives, and to feel the fulfillment that comes with becoming a more authentic person. That is when you start going on your journey. That's when you recognize things like what I say, where... Um, you have acceptance through enlightenment. You, you go to, to, to learn things about yourself and you accept it. And you grow because now you're enlightened. But at the same time, we live in a society that values superficiality. And strives for perfection and defines success by the dollars in our bank account and not how we live our lives or how we the values that we have in our everyday lives. So, how are we to be authentic in spite of the messages that try to convince us to be someone else? And for those who are on that authentic journey, they would have probably asked this question at least once. How then do I be my true self? 
We are molded as children by our parents, teachers, religions, peers, and society to fit in. As a result, we developed beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that keep us acting in the ways we are taught to act. Not in the ways that make us feel like our authentic selves. The version of ourselves, this particular version of ourselves, can be thought of as the adaptive self. The self that prioritizes fitting in, getting along, and generally going do and doing with doing what we're told. This self is not without value and purpose. It helps us be functioning members of society. But if you're feeling inauthentic, the adaptive self is running your life. To reclaim your authenticity, you need to discover your authentic self. The self that prioritizes living according to your values, pursuing your purpose, and fighting for the causes that you care about. For most of us, authentic self is buried deep in our unconscious, where it remains hard to identify and hard to let out. When I started doing the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew, I really didn't know where I was going with it. This particular edition of the Night Shift, Real Talk, was one of those that resonated most with me. Because it was a side of me that was curious. I was always curious about how it was that people interacted with one another. And that's, that's, that's the basis behind real talk, how we, react to, how we interact with each other and why we do some of the things that we do. And so the journey began um, a little over, just about a decade ago, a little over a decade. The, the journey to find self. And it was as a result of a friend of mine saying, hey, I, I want to do this. And y'all might remember I started out with, with Almighty Crisis as my co-host on Real Talk. And it, 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 it grew and continued growing. So now we started figuring out, you know, how it is that why it is we do certain things and we ask the questions and we find some of the answers and we find some of the things that give us more questions. And those were the things that really stood out to me because from knowledge sprouts power. And we learn more and we learn more and we learn more. But my job here, of course, is to stimulate your appetite and not satisfy your hunger. So I give you something that you can go back and find more and more and more. So how then do we develop this authenticity? of which we speak. There are a few ways. And you might want to grab your pen and paper once more. Someone told me once that they don't have time to be interacting in the stew pot. They don't have time to be texting in anything because they're busy taking notes. And I was so humbled because in my research to find answers they had the same questions and those questions were being answered to some extent because when they left from that they went on to do more research so on the journey to finding the authentic self to developing the authentic self you you'd want to learn to Observe yourself like a fly on the wall. Watch yourself as you live in the present moment. So, you want to observe how your adaptive self behaves, what it believes, how it reacts under pressure, and how it responds to challenges. Practice noticing which of these responses feel authentic and which ones feel inauthentic. 
by identifying which responses are adaptive versus authentic, you can begin to notice the falseness and begin to see the glimmers of truth underneath. So you need to observe yourself objectively to develop authenticity. You also want to examine, examine family beliefs and, and, and in order to develop authenticity, the, the belief system that you grew up with. Most people were raised in some sort of family style. Um, that environment that they grew up in during their earliest, most vulnerable years. Think back to episodes in your childhood that led you to stop being your authentic self and instead adopt some other way of existing in this world. By examining, examining where our behaviors come from, we can learn a lot about our authentic selves. So, why is it that I do what I do? And you have to think back long and you have to think back hard sometimes. And sometimes it requires some tears to be shed. Because you realize that you've had some experiences that you just packed away in some corner of your deep recesses of your mind because you didn't want to deal with them. And as a result, you created this person. You created this front. And that was what you put out. All the time, hiding your true self. This is why some people, when, when, when they're letting the world know about their lifestyle choices because it goes against what society, society's norm says it is. They refer to it as coming out. Next on in, in, in the list of ways to develop the authentic self is to open a dialogue between the, the adaptive self and the authentic self. Invite the two aspects of yourself, the adaptive self and the authentic self, to have a discussion as part of a mediation of, uh, of, of thought exercise. Well, sorry, not a mediation, but a meditation of thought exercise. Respectfully introduce both. And this might sound crazy because you're talking about yourself, right? But this is where self-work comes in. So, respectfully introduce both. Thank the, uh, the adaptive self for helping you function through some difficult and confusing times. And thank the authentic self for helping you feel whole, real, and self-confident. Now, invite each part of yourself to share. Ask a question mentally while urging each side to express itself fully. And then listen patiently to the responses. Encourage dialogue so that you may comprehend both points of view. So you're looking at yourself from the outside in and you're having this discussion. Yes, you're talking to yourself and you're answering yourself and you're writing down notes as you go along. Crazy? Leave that to you to decide. I don't think it is. And apparently Dr. Davis doesn't think it is as she wouldn't be saying it. She goes on to say, try to be open to what both sides have to say, as they may reveal things you are not expecting. For example, the authentic self may be afraid of rejection and therefore afraid to come forward, or your adaptive, adaptive self may be caretaking, trying to protect you from feeling hurt in the ways you've been hurt in the past. These parts of ourselves are running our lives this way for a reason. In this exercise, try to figure out what those reasons are. This may, be, this may help you to understand why you act the way you do. So you can decide if you truly want to act differently. Identify, indiscre identify discrepancies to develop authenticity is the next on the list. Try to become aware of discrepancies between your actions and your beliefs. If you catch yourself making a racist, sexist, or otherwise hurtful remark, 
ask yourself whether you really believe the words you speak. Are you just saying these things because someone else taught you to say them? Is it because the people that you hang out with think that it's cool and as a result to fit in with the cool crowd, that's what you do? Remember, the adaptive self just wants to fit in. So it can affect, it can often act in, in, in ways that are inconsistent with our authentic selves. And don't beat yourself up about it because it is normal. But if we want to be more authentic, we have to notice the, and, and, and address the discrepancies between our beliefs and our actions. If you acknowledge what is true for you now, then you can better live your, uh, the, 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 your life according to the needs of your authentic self. But that kind of authentic, authenticity requires something that is called self-awareness and self-honesty. Two things that, boy, you talk about all elusive. <laughs> These things here, not many of us ever get to meet. And not many of us want to meet because it's so scary. Um, you want to examine doubts in, in the development of authenticity. When exploring your authentic self, you may feel unsure of how to go about it. You may question whether it is even possible to change what feels so deeply ingrained within you or is invisible to you. So, keep an eye out uh, for feelings of doubt. Doubts can be like breadcrumbs that lead you to your authentic selves. If you doubt something, a thought, a behavior, emotion, experience, reflect for a moment to find out whatever is underneath. Is your authentic self trying to tell you to stop? This is where the unpacking starts. And some of us have so much baggage that when we get into the, the unpacking process, we get scared because we don't like what it is that we're finding. We don't like what it is that we're seeing because it's not what everyone thinks is cool. It's not what people want to see. Next is to develop the courage to face your fears. Humans tend to be most comfortable with what is familiar. The unfamiliar is often challenging. Well, at least at first it is. Examining your inner core beliefs can be like exploring a foreign landscape you're unfamiliar with. So you touch upon a disconnect between your adaptive and authentic selves. Your heart may race, your hands may get clammy, you may naturally feel afraid to look deeply into yourself for fear of what you might find. I remember the first time I was on ear. DJ TC Flex of Flex FM. Um, before he created Flex FM, did a lunchtime mix on um, another station. W it was WBIG at the time. And he called me up and said one day to come in and and be his guest. Walk with my equipment and I was like, okay, cool. Let me do this. And he got to the lunch mix and he said, string up, plug up. And then he said, Europe. And no one could see me. But the fact that everyone could hear me and I was the one playing the music, I was shaking like a leaf. To this day, before each and every broadcast, 
I get a little nervous. And someone told me once, the moment I lose that nervousness, it's time to pack it up and do something else. So I'm glad I have this nervous feeling before each broadcast. But it is because of the unknown. What is going to happen? Could something happen in this broadcast that is just going to cause it to fail? That fear right there. When, when I was doing my first mixes, it was, am I going to mix these songs right? Do I know what I'm going to play? I don't know what to play. And it created this fear. Our authentic selves often has a lot of fear, sadness, and anger. Our true selves were hurt, and that's why the adaptive self took over. However, the difficult secrets we, we hide from ourselves are, and what makes us who we really are. So, as much as possible, and as slowly as you need to, courageously explore the truth of what makes you who you are. Identifying, experiencing, accepting, and letting go of those buried emotions is exactly what fuels your authentic self. I remember sharing with my better portion some things about me that I had discovered after going through therapy. And let me tell you, you talk about being scared? That right there had to have been one of the scariest things I've ever had to do in my life. If it was not the scariest, it was one of. And I believe it was probably the scariest thing. Because I had to be in such a vulnerable place, exposed, truly afraid. That was what that was, facing that fear. We're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we're going to talk some more. It's real talk right here on the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew. We're going to say goodbye to Facebook Live. Use the link that is pinned in the description. Come on over to kevinstew.com where you're, ex you're encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment for the remainder of this broadcast. But until then, Facebook Live, deuces to you until we meet again. Come on over, kevinstew.com for the remainder of the broadcast. Affiliates, much love to you. Glad that you can stick around and, and keep this going. Foundation Radio Network, ClintonLindsay.com, uh, NIE Radio, PEMGTV.com. Much love, much, 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 much love, much respect to you. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Pulsing Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulsing Media Group. It's that time again. The Peace and Love Academic Scholarship, Palace for short, is holding its fourth annual international 12-hour telethon to raise funds for education in Jamaica and the Caribbean. It all happens on Saturday, July 
17th from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Eastern. But we need your help to provide 80 scholarships this year. Visit palaceone.org to see the success stories and to make your tax-deductible donations. We thank you so much. Come on, smile. Oh, honey, he's still not smiling. Maybe he's not a smiler. Yeah, maybe he's just not a happy baby. Maybe he's just being a boy. Or maybe he's teething. Maybe it's just a phase. Maybe he has autism, and we can definitely do something to help. Maybe is all you need to find out more about autism. No big, joyful smiles by six months is one early sign. Learn the others at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. It's Christine representing for DJ Kevin. You see me, I say, I don't know the boss. You see me, I say, DJ Kevin's too on the night shift radio show. Yo, it thing at the thing, turn up the thing loud. Whoa, DJ Kevin's too at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just choose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's too believing, and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift radio show. This is the heart to talk. Left again. I'm so tired, too weak to fight. Wouldn't even try. But if the bell rings, I wonder what I'll do. I pick myself up off the floor, kick myself through the door. But if the bell rings, I wonder what I'll do. Will I be true to myself and whisper in her ear? Yes. Or will I lie to myself and leave her standing there? I'll get myself someone new, rid myself of this misty blue eye. But then the phone rings, I wonder what I'll do. I ask myself, hey, what's the use? Then I tell myself some silly old excuse. And then the bell rings Oh Lord, what do I do? Will I be true to myself And whisper in her ear? Yes. Or will I lie to myself And leave her standing there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll shout out Shada, Shade, Shade, Lada, 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 some place far away. I want to say thank you to my segment sponsors <laughs> Althea and her healing heavenly hands Althea is used a licensed massage therapist at a bridge out of Broad County With North Miami Dade and South Palm Beach counties yes. She comes to you bringing her table, her oils and over 20 years massage therapy experience Give her a call, 954-655-9000. That's 954-655-9000. Or email her at Thealata, T-H-E-A-L-A-T-E-R, Thealata at A-T-T dot net. If you're looking for a personal trainer, she is also one of those. I'll treat myself to a brand new car. Drive me away. Some place far away, but then the bell rings. And 
What do you think I do? What do you think I do? Oh, was I true to myself? The question of the night. In are you true to yourself? Or do you know who you are? To myself when I left off standing, you're standing off of me. Shut down, shut down. Shut down, shut down. You know, you know. Oh, but I did. Yeah, Jack, go on to your thing, brother. So, for those of you just joining in, welcome to Real Talk on the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew. Welcome to KevinStew.com. Oh, um, Facebook Live, you're still on. Deuces, out of here, out of here. Um, KevinStew.com is the place to be where you're encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment. Of course, uh, all the previous broadcasts can be accessed through KevinStew.com. The podcast, you can access the podcast through the posts on kevinstew.com. But if you're looking for the podcast, it is the same name of the broadcast, The Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew. Uh, the YouTube is, a, is the same name also, The Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew. And the link to the YouTube is on kevinstew.com. Go figure. Nice and easy, right? I think so too. All right, so... Do do subscribe to these these mediums, uh, the podcast and and to the YouTube. Give your support wherever you can. It is it, it your support goes goes a long way to having more broadcasts like this and others. So looking at the authentic self and finding out how to get connected with the authentic self, we continue by exploring your values, integrity, ethics, and living our personal values. These are effective ways to live more authentically. The trouble comes when we are so far from our, th- our, uh, from our authentic selves that we do not even know what our values are. So explore your values and figure out some ways to start living them. Then you want to love yourself and have compassion for others to develop authenticity because it takes self-love for authentic selves to emerge embedding more love and compassion within yourself and your life is helpful one way to increase your self-love is to set aside some time to take numerous deep breaths each day you can add this into an existing meditation practice if you'd like slow deepen your breathing slowly deepen your breathing and when you are feeling fully relaxed and receptive call love to yourself from your environment imagine each breath infusing and and being infused with loving energy whether as balls of energy or bursts or rays of light and love invite love to enter your body via your breath draw love into your lungs and disperse it throughout your body or send it directly to your authentic self keep breathing consciously until you feel the lightning and lifting energy of these love breaths once filled with love share some of it with friends or loved ones Sending love to others tends to expand the love that is within. Now, there are some that take that and and run with it in ways that it just leaves you scratching your head. You know, what kind of love you're sharing with your, with, with your neighbors? What kind of love you're sharing with these people on the street? What kind of love? What kind of love indeed? Well, if that is your authentic self, more power to you. And share away. But remember, it includes being true to you and being true to them. All of them. Recognize that developing authenticity takes time. That's the next one on the list. Examining our true self is a process. 
and perhaps a lifelong process. Because we are ever-evolving human beings, it takes quite a while to winnow out beliefs and behaviors that no longer serve you and replace them with, with more authentic ones. But with some effort, you'll soon find more genuine alignment with your true self. Release patterns and beliefs that no longer serve you. This one here, you know, they, they all kind of stand out and, 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 and hit in different ways. But this one here is another one of them that hits. When you do come across a thought, emotion, or action that doesn't re represent your authentic self, work on letting it go. Visualization is a good tool for this. You can place the thought, emotion, or action within a bubble or a balloon and let it rise until it disappears. Or if you are more hands-on, you can write it on a piece of paper, cross it out, crumple up the paper. This is a physical action that helps your subconscious understand your intentions. I'd even go as far as to say, after you cross it out and you crumple the paper, you tear up that paper. And even go further, burn it. <laughs> destroy that thought. Destroy that feeling. Destroy that emotion. And recognize that you have power over it. Next on the list is to ask, your, ask yourself what you truly believe. Another proactive approach is to simply start with pad and paper, you know, paper and pencil. Or it can be a, a, a mental exercise. And begin listing your beliefs about yourself. Beliefs like, I am not good enough, or nobody loves me, or I'm stupid, fat, ugly. Any of these things. Then examine each one, expand on it, and think back to how and when you acquired that belief. Who gave that to you? Why is it that you continue to hold on to it and whether it represents the authentic you or the authentic you that you want to be? Now, create positive alternatives to those negative beliefs, such as, I am good enough or I am drawing myself a partner who loves and respects me for me or I am perfect just the way I am. Repeat the beliefs as positive affirmations. This way, they will start to stick. Take it slow to develop your authenticity. So, if you're going to write down those things and make them affirmations, over time, you look at them, place them somewhere that you you revisit them frequently, and 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 you look at them, and you look at them, and you look at them, and you recite them, and you recite them until you don't have to recite, look at them anymore to recite them. Then you know them, and you're going through your day, and you're reciting them, and they become a part of you, because that's truly you. You've done the work, you've done the self work, you've you've had the painful experience where you say that individual that was and that was just for show this is me take me or leave me sometimes we are shocked by what we discover within our subconscious that has been hidden such sudden new raw awareness can disrupt our lives in unexpected ways so use moderation and proceed cautiously when you discover a belief or memory that has been thwarting your authenticity, allow a few days for you to adjust to your new realizations and view them with self-compassion. I remember it taking a while before I could get to the point of sharing my newly discovered self with my better portion again that comes back to the fear and 
I had to ease into it. This was something that I had to do when I realized those things through that therapy session, those therapy sessions. I had to ease into them. Now, when you get to that point where you, you start doing these things, now you have to get into maintaining because you have a better sense of how to be authentic. So you go through the process of uh, uh, knowing how to develop that authenticity. Now you have to maintain it. So the hard work has already been done because it is easier to maintain than to repair. Yeah? And some, because that repair sometimes requires rebuilding. So how do you get into maintenance? You make telling the truth a habit. Now, this is a simple suggestion and yet it makes a huge difference because the complexity lies in the simplicity. Sometimes it is so difficult to be honest like that. It's so easy to fall into a pattern of lying for convenience sake, to further some agenda, to cover up some embarrassment, to save face. And these seem like little white lies that do not hurt anything. However, the more little white lies we tell, the less we are accepting our authentic self. A self that is flawed. By being honest, we tell our subconscious that our imperfections are acceptable. Therefore, we are acceptable. Now, bear in mind, they may not be accepted by the person that you're sharing them with. And that is something that you have to be okay with within yourself. Make statements and decisions consciously. And that part can be difficult. Also, it comes with the honesty. In this hectic world, we are making decisions all the time. And unfortunately, a lot of these decisions are made hastily in the moment with little to no foresight. What we want to do is to slow down and make sure each of our decisions support our authentic selves. And don't let anyone push you into making any consequential decision before you are ready. Now, this is not on here, but since Dr. Davis mentioned decisions, making decisions, and of course decisions are these courses of actions that you decide to, that you take. I'm trying to not use the same word. Courses of actions that you take that depend on a previous experience. So it, 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 it depends on some other information. That's your decision. Now, when you're making conscious choices, that's kind of like an oxymoron to me. Because that choice versus that decision, that choice happens just because. The decision happens because of weighed consequences. The choice happens regardless of what consequences there may be. That is because you just want to do it, because it is what you truly want to do. It doesn't matter what. You look at children and young toddlers, and they do some things, and you'd ask them, why do you do that? And their response would simply be, ah. and they shrug their shoulders, and uh, without a care in the world, they say, I don't know. And they keep on doing what they're doing. That's a choice. And they're happy with it. And then they get older. 
And society tells them certain things that they should and shouldn't do. And those choices end up being decisions. And so you ask the question about the same action a few years later. Why do you do this? Well, because when I do this, this person becomes happy with me. Because I don't get in trouble. Because, and there comes the becauses. Because what? Society dictates that everything be explained. And we explain ourselves to fit in, to be accepted by members of our society. Whatever, whomever it is that, 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 that govern our society. Whether it is our general society or our personal society. The little space that we live in. Whether, so we're talking about family members. We're talking about spouses, partners, um, siblings. Because it makes them happy. But you not necessarily, it's not necessarily what you want to do. It's not necessarily what makes you happy. So it ends up being a decision. When the choice is being stifled. And the moment you first make that choice. When you do what it is that you want to do. And someone asks you, why are you doing that? And you say, you know what? Just because I want to. And you say it with a smile and, a, and you skip away. That right there. That's that choice from the authentic you. And some may not agree with it, but that's okay. When you've gone through the work of discovering who you are, and in the process of maintaining who you are, some people will fall along the way, and more people will come and join you. The ones that you lose along the way were there because of the, the other you. The, the you that, that, that was there to fit in. The ones that now have come in are the ones that are there for the authentic you. Which ones do you prefer to have? We're going to take another quick little break. When we come back, we wrap this all up in a neat little bow and we get into some musical therapy. Call your friends. Tell your friends. Call your friends of your friends, friends of your enemies, enemies of your friends, and your enemies. Don't leave them out. It's real talk on the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. We are on the journey to the authentic self. Come journey with us. We'll be right back after just a few messages. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it, Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse eMedia Group, when being in the moment is priceless. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, in math, I learned that I'm ugly and useless. And in gym, in biology, I learned that I'm pathetic that I'm fat, and a joke. In history, today in I learned school, that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one. In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. In English, and in math, I learned that I'm trash. 
The only thing I didn't learn in school today. The only thing I didn't learn today. The only thing I didn't learn is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. Making great music is one thing. Sharing it with the world, that's another. Let the professionals at Reggae Global Entertainment help you to another level. Specializing in artist management, booking, public relations and marketing, and promotion. Reggae Global Entertainment can help you with event planning, websites, photography, and video production, press releases, legal services, and graphic design. They can even help you with music production so you can get the sound that you want every time. Call Reggae Global Entertainment at 954-804-8199. That's 804-8199. Or visit them online at reggaeglobalentertainment.com. Yes, my people. Check out I Red Funks on Reggae Global Radio. Every Saturday at 8 p.m. with Kev Stew, we all give you a pre-life. Brand new. Good for you. Kick it like a ball if you don't see a dance hall. You hear that? Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. Yes, yes, yes. A car Montino, I'm making no say right now. You are locked in to DJ Kevin Stew on the night shift. Welcome back to the broadcast. The sound of you and Morgan. Working out with Jetty and Britta Briglia. Track is called Evolution. I want to say thanks to my segment sponsor, Reggae Global Entertainment. Reggae Global will act as your booking agents, handle your tour management. 
take care of your legal contracts, copyrights, publishing, trademarks, business registration, legal service referrals, music production, marketing and promotion, and so much more. Give them a call, 754-804-8199. That's 954-804-8199. Or check them out online, reggaeglobalentertainment.com. Tell them DJ Kevin Stew sent you. So as we evolve into our authentic selves, we're talking about how to do that. Hey cuz, welcome to the broadcast. Please hug Keshaya for me and give her a big kiss and tell her a happy Earth Beat. Alright, so... For those of you just tuning in, it's Real Talk, and welcome to the Night Shift of DJ Kevin Stew. Tonight we're looking at the authentic self, how to develop the authentic self, and how to maintain the authentic self. And as we wrap this up, we continue with going down the list with maintaining your our authentic self, and, and, and the next one that comes up is 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 speaking your truth when you speak your truth authentically you show others that you are responsible that you can be trusted and that you trust others enough to show your genuine vulnerable self the response from others is often positive which helps make it easier for you to con- continue being authentic Sometimes it is not so positive. That I can speak from experience. And, or it may not be positive in the beginning, but works out positively in the end. It is getting to that end point that can be challenging sometimes. And that end may actually come with the end of the relationship as you know it which may not seem very positive at all. But if it contributes to you being your authentic self, how can that be negative? So speak your truth. And don't do it arrogantly either. You know, you you do want to be considerate of the person that you're speaking your truth to. Develop yourself in authentic ways. I can't tell how many times people have been given advice for how to advance um, in their careers. And they were given the advice that is not suited to their authentic selves. And whenever... Dr. Davis, for example, she gets some of this advice. And whenever she follows it and ignores her authentic self, she says she gets lost. Have you ever found that people tell you, 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 you're wondering how to do something and people are telling you to how to go about it and you just feel like you, you can't do it. This doesn't work for you. You can't do it. It's not authentic. It doesn't resonate with your authentic self. Your goals may also fail to fit the typical upward trajectory or career ladder that is often promoted by society. So, as you purpose your goals, pause to ask yourself, are you pursuing the right goal? And are you doing it in the right way for you? And if not, you likely have a hard time enjoying either the process or the outcome. Now, Remember, when you want to measure success, if you're going to be, if you're going to use others to measure your success, you probably never will succeed. Because what you determine to be success and others see as success and they're saying, oh, you have done it. Power, more power to you. Big ups, big ups, big ups. And you are within yourself saying, 
no, I'm not quite there yet. That's not what I'm that was not what I'm going towards. That's not what I'm going for. But they're saying, yeah, but this is it. You've done it. This is it. No, no, no. You've done it to their standards, to where they measure success. If that is not where you are, you measure success in your authentic self, then you've not done it. Keep going. Don't stop there. Next on the list is to continue to monitor yourself. If we can keep a behind the scenes monitor that reminds self reminds us that remains self aware at all times, we will be in a position to catch those off moments when we veer away from our authentic selves. If we even if we have no time to examine what is going on in the moment. We can note it down for a, a review a little bit later on. Because we take time to reflect, right? We go through, we, we look back at, at what the challenges were for the day, what we, how we navigated through it, how we shared, how we inspired, how we reached someone new. And sometimes we end up a little bit off. And we have to address that. So, now you are maintaining and you're going through. Is there a way to take it to the next level? Is there anywhere else to go with it? Or is that the, 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 the apex of it all? Well, you can actually bring out a more complete authentic self you can take authenticity to the next level you can level up power up double up whichever up you want to call it you strive to improve yourself if you want to progress you will need to develop a growth mindset and Learn from each lesson presented to you before you can move on to a higher insight. If you do not do your daily homework of paying attention to what life has to teach you, you will continue to get the same lessons over and over until you learn them. By being open to new knowledge, you can grow more quickly and find the best routes for you to achieve sustained authenticity. Listen to your inner guidance or your intuition. You know how it is often said that, that woman's intuition, intuition is never wrong? Learn to listen to your intuition. People call inner guidance many things. The soul, God, intuition, Tao, you know, you name it. Following this inner guidance is key to discovering the authentic self. It is only when our adaptive self silences our inner guidance that we lose track of who we really are. So try to keep an open mind and ear for the guidance that you hold within you. Let me DJ stew this a little bit. People call this inner guidance soul intuition, Tao, God. When we get into religion and the growth of self, notice I said religion and not spirituality. The two are not the same. So religion will probably tell us that we are to be this way. And we try to be this way and it doesn't quite resonate. Is it that you can't conform to religion or religion is wrong? I don't know how to answer that question. What I do know is that you need to connect with yourself, your inner you. You need to get spiritual about what it is that you're learning in this religion. Because I, knew, I know I grew up Christian. 
I go I grew up going to a Christian church. I grew up going to the Salvation Army. I was taught certain things out of the Bible. But for so for those that use the Bible, whatever religion you are, but you use that one book called the Bible. We're pretty much taught the same things. Pretty much. Of course, depending on, on, on the religion you subscribe to, there are uh, doctrines that take you different places. But at the core of it all, you're taught the same things. One of the main things that you're taught is that your Christianity is a personal walk. Not every person walks the same way. So if it's a personal walk, then your spiritual journey and my spiritual journey cannot be the same journey. It could be a journey to the same destination, but it cannot be the same journey because it's a personal spiritual walk. Now, of course, when you get into talking about religion, then you end up having all kinds of arguments and falling out and whatever else. I don't argue religion. I will get into discussions on spirituality. But I don't touch religion. Religion and politics are two of the things that I, I, I pretty much try to stay away from. Because they can be quite skewed. So try to keep an open mind and ear for the guidance that you hold within you. That's the spiritual and, of course, you want to find your life purpose. Keshaya turn, turns 16 today. And as a sweet 16, the thought is, okay, now I have reached this lifestone, you know, this mile marker in life. And this milestone, I should say. And here it is, I am thinking, what am I going to do? And I've, I've, I've heard many people, Keshaya, ask that question, as I have seen many sweet 16s. From before I was 16, when I was 16, and of course, celebrating 16 several years over now. And many young ladies ask, okay. What am I going to do with myself? Because I have hit 16. You know, look forward to it all this time. For 15 years, you were looking for Sweet 16. Sweet 16 came and you, th it, you woke up and it, you felt like you felt yesterday. <laughs> and that's cool. Finding your life purpose is a journey. Authenticity and purpose are closely linked. A deep sense of purpose can help you to express your authenticity while developing authenticity will while developing authenticity will often help you um, to discover your purpose. So take the time out to recognize who you really are. And at, at, at age 16, Keshaya, at age 16, it might be kind of tough because there's a lot that you still have to learn. But at this age still, there are things that resonate with you. You might want to hold on to those and develop those and talk in your true self. Talk about those things and how you can develop along those lines. Ask the questions. And sometimes they may be difficult questions to ask, but ask them anyway because you cannot grow unless you ask questions. You may discover the courage of your convictions and want to burst forward with passion to accomplish some worthy goal that moves you deeply enough to champion some particular sort of positive change. You may have an invention you want to promote, a company you want to develop, a vision you want to manifest. So open yourself to living authentically and live your purpose. And, 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 and your purpose is likely to become more clear when you open yourself up to living authentically. This here that I am doing right now, the night shift to DJ Kevin Stew, this has become my purpose. 
this resonates well with my authentic self. Sometimes people are doing what they believe their purpose is, and you ask them, what, what was it that, 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 why was it that you got into this? You know, why did you start doing this? And, it, and they would tell you, but, you know, I don't know. I didn't really choose this. It chose me. And that's how I feel about this. Because I was never a speaker. I was never one to... to, to, to when, when I was growing up and singing in children's choir, I didn't want to stand in the front. But I had to because I was short. Not short of anything. But I was just vertically challenged. So standing in the front was one of the things that was a requirement for me. But I was never one to be out front like that. Now... I have grown into what you see here. Was it a decision? No. Was it a choice? Yeah. I chose to do it. Why? Just because. It's a choice. I, I cannot give you a why with a choice. I can give you a why with a decision. But for my choice, it's just because this was what I needed to do. So let's get into the decisions of why I did it. Because I was determined to have acceptance through enlightenment. I was determined to stimulate your appetite and not satisfy your hunger. I was determined to find that knowledge. Because from knowledge sprouts power. And this, this kind of power is not the kind of power that you, 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 you hold over individuals to say, you know, I am more powerful than you. I am, I am, I am. No, no, no. no. This is the kind of power that, in, uh, that empowers you to, in, well, me, to go forward and say, you know what? I am addressing homosexuality tonight. I am addressing um, why we why people kill tonight. I'm addressing why people get married tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm addressing, uh, I'm, I'm talking to the, the person that is in prison. I'm talking to the person that is, is the advocate for the person that is in prison. I'm talking to the person that just came out of prison. I'm talking to the, 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 the victim of um, human trafficking. Because it's a part of my purpose. I have managed to been, have been given this platform to use. And my grandmother used to tell me, whatever you're doing, make sure you do it well. And that used to irritate me because usually she would tell me that when I was sweeping the veranda. And I didn't want to sweep the veranda, so I just dragged the broom over it and whatever. And they would have to and, 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 and go back and play. And oftentimes I'd be called to do it again because I didn't do it well the first time. That taught me a few things. Yes, it taught me that if you don't do it right the first time, you're going to get called back to do it again, which takes away from the time that you could use doing what you wanted to do. But it also taught me that in taking time to do it right the first time, I am going to be happy because no because I am doing it to the best of my ability, I have seen where my abilities produce something good in my eyes. And it makes me happy. And because I'm authentically happy with what I have done, now here comes others. And because I have done it to the best of my abilities, they are happy with that. Because, you know, people can tell, all the adults that are listening in, when you have given a child a task and you know that they're learning how to do this thing and you can see that they have put their all into it to get it to wherever it is, but it's not quite there. But you see where they've put their all into it. You feel so good about their efforts that if you need to come through and finish up what they have done, then 
you're fine with that because then you take it and use that as a teaching moment. See, I see here where you have done this and that was awesome. Now let's strive to get to here because you're almost there. Now you have planted a seed. The seed that says, even when you have done your best, even if it is not quite there, you will get help because there are others along the way that, is, that are encouraging you to get to that place. It means that this is not just a cruel, lonely place, this world. And those are good things to take as we develop and we grow. So, as we come back to finding and growing, developing our purpose, which comes as a result of developing our authentic selves and maintaining our, our authentic selves. Because a true purpose won't come unless you're in authenticity. If you need help to get into authenticity, you go ahead and you find where you can get that help. I have a friend um, that operates Zela Trinity. And she encourages people to become their authentic selves. Did a course for it and everything. I, I know because I remember when she went and did the course. I myself have, have, have looked into many things where it relates to developing the true self and being authentic. I have gone to therapy as a part of my journey to authenticity. I have read many an article. Now, of course, again, I wouldn't say that publicly because I tell people all the time I hate reading. But I guess at some point in time you have to do some reading. Even if it is your own writing. Because on the journey to developing that authentic self, there's some writing that you have to do. You have to write down what it is that you're feeling, what it is that you did, how it is that you reacted to some of these things on the journey to authenticity so that you can get into your authentic self and you can reflect on those things, those things that made you feel good, those things that didn't make you feel good so that you know what they are because you can't commit them all to memory. So you write them down. And then you work. You put in the work. And you don't give up on the work. That's where that endurance comes in. Because race is not for the swift, but for those that endure, right? So, as we go on this journey to discover our authentic selves, we're encouraged. Endure. <laughs> Chris Malachi This is Chris Malachi working out with Mark Anthony Finish line is The track is called Endure How many miles until us As we get into our musical therapy to close out this real talk Counting On the night shift with DJ Kevin Steele Running them down Trying to score Coming my nerves I'm up to preserve I am at it in this life, couldn't ban shaba. Damn full that I'm seeing clearly no drama. Can't stop the fish and what me ban for. Learning every day that my journey's harder. And I know if you feel the same, give praises to the Most High. For the race is not for the swift, but those who can endure. The battle is not for the strong, I'm telling you for sure. Keep your faith, yeah. I know that God is great, yeah. The race is not for the sweet. The journey is another gift, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right time. For setting like this, I'm gonna be the last. Thinking of a master plan, but cannot do without. 
Kingston to Mobile, we'll find a better route. Then we'll fly up on a tour of where the bucket list they know, yeah. Family and future for secure. They see now you know, but they're not you. Could you know show? Yes, you will have flow through your bones. Run out your own pins and seek a better way. The race is not for the swift, but those who can endure. The battle is not for the strong, I'm telling you for sure. Keep your faith, yeah. I know that John is great, yeah. The race is not for the swift, swift. The journey is another gift, yeah. The race is not for the swift, but those who can endure. The battle is not for the strong, I'm telling you for sure. So keep your faith, yeah. The journey is not for the swift, but just on the journey. Recognize this is your season to fly the sound of his run. Track is called Fly.
to fly even with broken wings fly same way don't let anybody cage you know on a Kirk Davis when they know him as Little Kirk he said well I can't hold I down Stewart, my sister from another mister, that mister being Willie Stewart. Check is called I'll Be Right There. Sometimes on that journey to the authenticity, you might feel alone. But no worry. 
you're like me, take comfort in the me, myself and I. You always have company. Drifting across the dust, I feel hollow, hollow. Like the elephant without stars. If we only knew everything we're yearning for, can you not be bought in an expensive store? Where to part to me? Maybe. Michelle Songbird Gordon, her rendition of a woman called Moses. As a blessed earth date to the Songbird herself. Or I should say, blessed belated earth date.
This is the sound of Freddie Green. I'm gonna jump in on the rhyme. The rhyming. Yeah. Let's go, Jack. Give us one life. Life is not just what you see. Life is how you live. By the seconds, by the minutes, by the hours, by the seconds, by the minutes, by the hours. So, if you see your sisters and brothers, then they turn I want to say a special thank you to my segment sponsor, GMAC Music Solutions. GMAC brings your events to life, pr- pr- providing sound, light, stage production services, musical equipment, PA systems, audio engineers, DJs, bands, musicians, and singers, and so much more. Get them a call, 754-307-GMAC. That's 754-307-4622. Or check them out online at gmacmusicsolutions.com. Anthony working out with Maurice Gregory. That's the title of the track right there. When you need me, I'll be right there. Busy. It's hard to get a life when you have to make a living I know I got some family and friends out there Who in a link with our chat to in months and years Yeah, it no fear if I swear But if I say I love you that means I still care Trust me, sometimes I gotta walk alone But I'll be back home real soon When you need me I'll be there for you When you need me Even if you don't talk all the while I'll still care for you When you need me I'll be always here Even when I don't pick up the phone It don't mean I don't care Well I'm not the best at reaching out and keeping in touch But I promise to try to do better Cause if I lose you tomorrow my friend I would wish we could spend more time together Yeah, my only regret Me 
more time for the people I can't forget Before they just a memory I forgive thanks for the love that you're giving me And push right through the anxiety When you need me I'll be there for you When you need me Even if you don't talk all the while I'll still be there for you When you need me I'll be always here Even when I don't pick up the phone I don't care. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah. But still, you're on my mind. Oh. Miss you, know? Miss you know. It's been a long time since we lost out. But the love that's in the clutch. I'm here for you when all is lost. So say the word when I'm you need me. I'll be there for you. Even if you don't talk all the while, I'll still care for you When you need me, I'll be always here Even when I don't pick up the phone, you don't know how to do it I choose to stay in that negative situation, that negative environment Or you can just be brave and strong and bold and just walk away from it, you know what I mean? It's up to you, up to you you can stop this at any time. This is the sound of Caramanti. Up to you. I hear a body and I... Check it's called, it's up to you. All right, so no get distracted. With the tricks in my sin and the vibes. Reminding us, listen. So I said I'm going to be in charge now. In my son and my life, yo. It's up to us when we... Uh, this it is. Some of the things that we have to do in our lives. That's true. It's up to us. It's not can. They might depend on other people. Your man was sleep, but he will want sex. Plus your body in a pain for me leaks when you get. But you're free because you know how it flex. If you know let off him, we beat you to death. So you decide all right, then you're going to spread your legs. But you're still nervous, no one make the wrong step. Hey, hey. Question, yo. Stop and check. You're not happy, so what kind of sense this make? I want place this I leave, don't I make the rest? So take me advice right now. It's up to you, up to you. You can't stop this at any time. It's up to you, up to you. I hear a body and I hear mine. Alright, so no get distracted. With the tricks in my cell and the vibes in my brain. When it's all said, I'm going to win charge, not in me. This I know my life, you're to know you are live. Listen this. Rotted when you're in a public You can disagree or a outlandish Cause you know him ladies more like him kid If you're not falling in line You guarantee a fat lip This and this part is this No one knows cause you never talk it We put on a show like everything Chris But you're lying inside and you're physically sick My girl yo please answer this What is your plan? What's your objective? If I love you I see no me this is not it so take me advice right now It's up to you, up to you You can't stop this at any time It's up to you, up to you I your body and I your mind I want to thank you each and everyone for logging in and locking on once again I truly appreciate love each and every one of you I want to take this opportunity to remind and encourage you to look out for members of your community your community is not just the development that you live in, but it spreads far and wide. So whether you walk, ride, drive, take the bus, the plane, the boat, the plate, the train, the people you pass along the way, these are members of your community. Do something for one of them today because you never know who's going to do something good for you tomorrow. I want to remind you, my name is DJ Kevin Stewart, so I like to do it to you, for you, and with you. Each Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Looking forward to doing it to you, with you, and for you once again. As I close out this night shift week, and this real talk edition, I leave you with the sound of Marcia J Ball and Raj and I. Brand new tune. It's called another love song. Good morning, good afternoon, good day to you wherever you are in the world from right here in South Florida. I bid you a good night. I love the way it feels. It's almost like a dream. If the winds would up and take me to where it all begins. I'm so caught up in the
Salutations, one and all. You're invited to tune in to the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. It airs on Mondays with Community and Finance, Tuesdays with Healthy Love, and Wednesdays with Real Talk from 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern Time. Come spend some time interacting in the stew pot where we keep things bubbling and wind down in musical therapy. The night shift with DJ Kevin Stew is on kevinstew.com where you're encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment. <laughs>